So good day. I have my Lumix G9 here, which is a micro four thirds camera, and I need to clean the sensor on it. And the reason why I need to clean it is I have noticed little specks of uh, dirt on my videos and my images. And I have cleaned my lens off the front side and the back side, and it still was appearing. And then I realized there were some little spots on my sensor itself. So what you need is a cleaning kit, and this is by VSGO. Um, I'm not paid to say anything about their product. It's just something I ordered online, and it was the first one on Amazon that showed up. And uh, so I ordered that, and Canadian, it cost me $33, and it's for micro four-thirds sensors. And what's in the kit is simply a cleaning solution. <clears throat> and wipes our applicators that are probably uh, put together in a clean room a dust-free room and and they're sterile so not to uh, not to uh, damage your sensor because you don't want to use your things like your rags that you had in your pocket or your little brush that you may carry or on this end it has another little microfiber cloth because the sensor is so sensitive any little speck of dirt could permanently damage it. So you want to use these applicators that are have been uh, put together in a clean room. So, as I said, this is a micro four third sensor. With uh, mirrorless cameras, and this is a mirrorless camera, you uh, just simply have to take your lens off and uh, go ahead and clean it. But if you have a normal DSLR camera, you need to follow your instructions of putting the mirror up and getting it out of the way of the sensor. So just follow the instruction uh, uh, for your camera and then the process after that will be the same. So first thing, take off your lens obviously. Take your camera and blow any dust that may be on the sensor. Give it a good blowing out. Now put it down always work in a nice uh, sterile environment don't do this outside where dust or pollen could be flying around because they kind of defeat the purpose now VSGO recommends recommends a three steps process and they recommend doing a dry cleaning then doing a second cleaning with the solution on the applicator then thirdly doing another dry cleaning I have watched some videos on YouTube and they don't even go through all this process. All they do is do the wet application and that's it, that's all. But we'll follow the instructions and uh, go from there. So first off, I'm going to open up this first one. And what they recommend is a 60 degree angle which would roughly be about this. Not a 45, not way down here, not straight up. You want to put gentle pressure on your uh, applicator and run it across your sensor. So starting on one edge of it, go across. Now you see I just did two swipes and the reason why is that the applicator does not completely cover the whole sensor. So what I do, because I'm right-handed, I just flip it around and then flip my applicator over and I wipe again. And that's it for the dry wipe. Now, we take a new applicator out and we just put two little drops on the applicator with the cleaning solution. One, two. That's it. That's all you need. So once again, we are going to take the applicator roughly at a 60 degree angle and wipe across your sensor with gentle pressure. Flip the camera around because I'm right handed. Flip the applicator around and do the same thing on this edge of the sensor. 
Now just give that a second to dry. Now we're going to take our third applicator. We'll just check our sensor, make sure all of it has dried. We're going to take our third applicator and once again, we're going to clean the sensor off to get any residual residue that might have been there. They say it's made for a micro four thirds system, but it's, it's 12 mil on the box, but it doesn't quite cover the whole sensor and I'm not quite sure why that is. So just check your sensor out, make sure there's nothing left on it. That's it, that's all. Take your lens, just make sure it's clean before you go and put it back on. You, there's no reason you can't use one of these applicators because the glass on your, on your lens is a little more durable. Make sure it's all nice and clean. And put your lens back on your sensor and you're good to go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.